in Volume 3, we looked at clouds as indicators of weather. There are two basic cloud forms. Cumulus clouds are heaped, have some vertical development, and result from rising currents of air. Cumulus clouds represent unstable, but not necessarily bad flying weather. On the other hand, stratus clouds form in horizontal layers. They result from the cooling of a stable layer. Stratus clouds represent stable flying, but not necessarily good flying conditions. Clouds are further classified according to the altitude at which they develop. There are four families of clouds, low-level clouds, mid-level clouds, high-level clouds, and clouds that develop vertically and may span all three levels. Wispy high-level clouds are called cirrus and are almost entirely ice crystals. Their bases range in altitude from about 16,500 feet in higher latitudes to around 50,000 feet near the equator. Cirrocumulus clouds are high-level clouds formed by rising currents of air that cool as they rise. They look like puffy patches high in the sky. Cirrostratus clouds indicate a high-level layer of stable air that was cooled enough for clouds to form. You'll often see cirrostratus as part of a uniform cloud layer high in the sky. Mid-level cloud bases extend from 6,500 feet to about 23,000 feet and are more frequently made of liquid water than high-level clouds. The higher the altitude of mid-level clouds, the greater the percentage of ice crystals in the cloud. Mid-level clouds are named using the prefix alto. Alto cumulus clouds are cumuliform clouds in the middle part of the troposphere, the layer of the atmosphere we live in and where weather occurs. Again, the presence of cumulus indicate rising air currents and an unstable layer. Altostratus clouds are stratiform clouds at similar altitudes and indicate the cooling of a stable layer. Stratus clouds producing precipitation at these levels are called nimbostratus. They have high water content and may be thousands of feet thick. Low-level cloud bases extend from the surface to about 6,500 feet. Low-level clouds are mostly water, but during winter may contain ice crystals or cause a significant hazard to aviation. Low-level clouds include stratus, layered clouds indicating a cooled stable layer at low levels. Cumulus, or as they are sometimes called fair weather cumulus, small heaped clouds that look like cotton balls and indicate low-level vertical currents. A third type of low-level cloud is a hybrid type called stratocumulus. As the name implies, they are part cumulus and part stratus. Stratocumulus may form as cumulus grow and their bases merge, forming a uniform stratus-looking layer from below and a heap cumulus-looking layer from above. Stratocumulus may also form as a low stratus layer is broken up by rising vertical currents. Vertically developed clouds, the fourth family, indicate increased instability in the atmosphere. The extensive vertical development shows rising currents are penetrating high into the atmosphere. Towering cumulus and cumulonimbus, the thunderstorm cloud, signal turbulence. Wind shear, lightning, and hail are all possible aviation hazards. Towering cumulus are tall cumulus clouds that may have high enough energy to potentially grow into cumulonimbus. This can happen in a very short time in many cases 15 minutes or less, so towering cumulus should always be looked at as potential thunderstorms. Cumulonimbus may extend to an altitude of 60,000 feet or higher. These powerful storms are an extreme aviation hazard and should be avoided.